Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of The Breakdown by B.A. Paris. So this is like a thriller novel. Uh, B.A. Paris actually wrote Behind Closed Doors, which has over one million copies sold, apparently. Um, that was her first novel, and I was actually sent an ARC of it. So I've kind of watched her career with interest, you know. I saw this in a charity shop and thought I'd pick it up. Now, I'm not like the greatest fan of thrillers. I think they're okay. I tend to find quite often that they're quite predictable, and that they make a big deal of a twist that's super obvious, you know? So, um, yeah, they can be a bit hit and miss for me, really. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed be uh, Behind Closed Doors, and so far I'm 100 pages in, and I've been enjoying this. So I'm gonna read you the blurb, read you a couple of my tabs as well, and then we'll come back later uh, with some more stuff. It all started that night in the woods. Cass Anderson didn't stop to help the woman in the car, and now she's dead. Ever since, silent calls have been plaguing Cass, and she's, sh and she's sure someone is watching her. Consumed by guilt, she's also starting to forget things. Whether she took her pills, what her house alarm code is, and if the knife in the kitchen really had blood on it. If you can't trust yourself, who can you trust? I thought this observation here was quite interesting. Uh, so she's listened to the radio and it says, Last night the body of a woman was found in a car in Blackwater Lane, between Browbury and Castle Wells. She'd been brutally murdered. If you travelled that road between 11.20 last night and 1.15 this morning, or know anyone who did, please contact us as soon as possible. I reach out and turn the radio off, my hands shaking with stress. Brutally murdered. The words hang in the air and I feel so sick, so hot that I have to open the window just to be able to breathe. Why couldn't they just have said murdered? Wasn't murdered already bad enough? Sensationalism, mate. And then uh, this guy comes around to fit a burglar alarm and we get some casual sexism here. Um, in the afternoon, a man from Superior Security Systems arrives to give a quote for an alarm system. He immediately, he immediately gets my back up by arriving 20 minutes early and asking if my husband is in. No, he's not, I tell him, trying not to get distracted by the flakes of dandruff on the shoulders of his dark suit. But if you run through the sort of system you think this house needs to make it secure, I'm sure I'll be able to understand, as long as you speak slowly. The sarcasm is lost on him. Alright, just a couple more things I want to mention from the breakdown, and then I'm going to give you my overall thoughts. This is uh, just something that I thought was a good observation, that um, basically there's this murdered woman here, and uh, her kids are spending time with their grandmother, and it's very hard for her because they look so much like their mother, you know? And then we have this thing that happens, I don't want to give away too much of the plot, but basically some French students steal a phone and then give it to our main character, and that really leads to the end of the novel, the resolution. And she says here, um, what were the chances of the French student taking it from Rachel's bag as she pushed past him? What are the chances of one of his friends having a crisis of conscience and handing it to me? I've never thought of myself as particularly spiritual, but yesterday, somebody somewhere was looking out for me. And it's just kind of funny that she draws attention to that, because I thought that felt a little bit deus ex machina, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't know, it was it was aight, but it didn't, it didn't ruin the book or anything. Overall, I actually did really enjoy this. Uh, rating time, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. I think if you enjoy thrillers, you're probably going to like this. I mean, I find thrillers to be very hit and miss, but I've read two of B.A. Paris's now, and I've enjoyed them both. I just think that they're, the twists in them are a lot more interesting to me, and they also get quite dark as well. Um, I did kind of see what was, what was happening here before the main character did, but that doesn't necessarily hamper my enjoyment and that happens quite a lot in thrillers so all in all yeah i would recommend checking this one out so there we have it that's what i made of the breakdown by ba paris as always don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so what you thought of it hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video hit subscribe for more and i will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot Bye bye